everyone welcome back to my channel oh my god it's like nine something in the morning and i am shooketh my daughter my ava my two-year-old my little toddler handful is sleeping and my husband i just really can't believe it so i'm super excited because i can jump on here during the day and do a live so i wanted to come on here and i wanted to share with you guys the new release for my little crafty shop and then also um, the stamp market um, order that I wanted to share with you guys, the haul that I want to do for you guys. I've been trying to make things and I feel like I've made enough to where I can show you guys um, what I got. I got to play with a couple of them. So I'm excited and I want to share some of the projects. You guys have seen most of them, um, but I want to do a video just sharing all that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me start with. my little crafty shop so guys this is a fairly new um shop and it is owned by lisa she is so great i love lisa she is so sweet oh my god um and i've really been enjoying working with her she has me on her design team thank you lisa for asking me to be on your design team i've been super excited to play with um her stuff and to see what new things she has out Hoo -hoo. good morning bevy share this video for me please mama so let me share with you guys. She sent me the new stuff and she sent a note. She said that um, she sent like a group note. She usually personalizes it, which is so sweet. And so she said she sent a bag of goodies from her shop. As a little thank you. So sweet. And she says she doesn't expect us to use it on the design team projects. And then she sent me something else. And she said, I was watching your video where you were opening Happy Meal from Dina. This mama loves crafty cuteness. And you said you liked the paper she used, but you hadn't got it yet. I'm pretty sure I gifted that collection to Dina. It's from Nina Nina Crafts on Etsy. Anyways, I printed some for you. I know it's after Halloween. Oh my God, you're so sweet, Lisa. But the good thing about paper is it doesn't go bad. Oh, my God. So sweet. Just a little something to say thank you for all you do for me. Oh, you're so sweet, Lisa. You are just so sweet, girl. Okay. So, I don't remember what paper she's talking about. But as soon as she says Halloween, like, I already know I'm going to love it. Like, let me tell you guys something. You guys, anybody who knows me knows that, like, I love Halloween all year round. Okay. So, let me open up this package. This is the design team package. You guys can use my code poochie 10 if you see anything you like here snatch it now while you can before she sells out okay because by the time that i get to play with everything and do all my oh my gosh she sends so many goodies um by the time i get to do my video she might be sold out and i don't want you guys to miss out on any of this goodness okay so let's start with the little goodies she sent oh she sent me some chocolates look at how cute this little santa is <gasps> That Santa's cute, girl. Oh, my God. I could never do this. I could never put this on candy. Oh, so cute. God, I don't even want to eat them now because they got that cute little thing. Thank you for the candy, girl. You're so sweet. And then she sent this guy. So I saw on Instagram she was selling some kits. So I'm not sure if, if that's going to be like an, an Instagram thing or if it's going to be online in her shop. But make sure you guys are following her. I'm going to link her down below, her Instagram, as well as her website. And I'm going to put the links to each item that I show you here today. Good morning, Angel. I'm going to put the link. Um, It's in her shop. Okay, perfect. So you guys check out her shop. And also make sure you follow her Instagram, like I said, because sometimes I saw that she did a couple like little pop-up sales. So make sure you're following her so you guys don't miss out. So these are the goodies she sent. And these are all going to be in her shop, you guys. Let me put it to the side. I don't want to distract y'all with all the goodness at once. Let's do one by one. Ooh, these are pretty. So she's got these felt snowflakes. Let me open them up and show you guys. I don't have too much to show you guys today. So we're going to take our time. Look at how beautiful. Ooh, they're nice and stacked. So we got this iridescent one. I should have checked the site before I jumped on here and I could tell you guys exactly how they're sold. So I'm not sure if this is like a package. Hey, Alvina. Or if you're able to pick out, you know, individual colors. Hi, Tata. I try to text you, girl. Here goes the red. So this is beautiful. Oh, my God. Hmm. 
That's gorgeous. So check out the site, guys. I will check the site after the live, and I will link everything. So you guys will find everything linked down below, okay? So we got that. And then there's this little bunch here. Oh, my God. Look at this little crocheted Santa. So we got these little, this little flower charm and then some bows. So these might be a kit. This might be a kit, guys. I really think this is a kit that she's selling. Look at these. Oh, my God. There's little tiny little balls in there. Gorgeous. And then look at this crocheted little Santa. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Okay. Should show the dice first. So I really believe this is a kit. And then we have this little baggie of cabochons. These are adorable. Oh my god. I need more of these. I'm one of those crazy people where like I just can't have one of something so cute like this. I have to have like 10 or 15 of these so I can make five bows and put five of them and then hoard the other five. Look at this little Gingy. It's adorable. We got this little deer, this little Santa Claus. He's got a perm on his beard. Look at this. These are so adorable. The little beanies. These are pretty, guys. We have this tree. I love the details in this tree. I've been seeing everybody with these. These are so cute. I have to buy these in bulk. They're so cute, you guys. He's got a perm on his beard, too. The little penguin. A little Santa hat. Look at this. Gingy is adorable. Perfect little Gingy and a little holly. These are really pretty, Lisa. Guys, go snatch these. Oh, my God. Nah, I can't be hoarding this. I got to I gotta have a couple more packs. So like I said, if you guys see something you like from this video, run over there and put my code Poochie 10 so you can save 10% off of your purchase. A little some, some extra. So there's several packs here. Those are the cabochons. Here we have some buttons. Red pink and white Christmas tree shaped. We have these pretty iridescent snowflake beads. These are beads, guys. We have this set of beads and there's some pretty iridescent stars in there and then these little um, crystal looking ones that are faceted. So you get a ton in this bag. Okay. All this stuff will go perfect with our projects. And then there's this little charm baggie. I should have checked the site before I got on here. So look at all these cute little charms. We've got a little deer. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at this, you guys. It's a little lobster class and it has the gift and a little bell. And then we got this tree, a pink tree with a little gem in there, snowflake. So a nice little mix of different Christmas charms. Okay, I love these little three little stars. They're tiny. Got a cute little Santa hat. This tree. And you guys can always alter the color of these with your... Nouveaux and your, um, well, I can't think of what they're called. The glitter ones. Tara, you love to use those. What are they called again? Stickles, stickles, stickles. So pretty. Okay, so those are the charms. A nice little amount of charms, guys. This is so sweet of her. To send. So 
Sorry, guys. If I don't put it in here, it's going to get lost somewhere on my desk, okay? I don't want that. And then last but not least is this really cute little charm. And she thick of a stocking. Really cute, okay? So those are the little goodies in her shop. While you're shopping for dyes, grab some of these little extras for your projects. Especially those cabochons. Those cabochons are bomb. I could see those selling out really quickly. Okay. So here goes the new release for her dyes. Let's start off with the first one. We have this cute little die set, guys. These... They're basically like little tabs that you can use to hang things off your projects is what I want to say. And I love that she has several of them on one. There's two different sizes here. And then there's like the reinforcer, the whole reinforcer. So we have a star shape here. You can layer it with a star reinforcer. Um, so basically like if you have whatever, you know, look at her site. She has an example of a word. And then she like sandwiched it in between and hung a little bead dangle. So basically you can just glue these anywhere on your projects and you can hang something off of it. Good morning. Where have you been, girl? So we have the star shapes here. We have the heart ones, which is perfect for Valentine's Day that's coming up. You guys are crafting way too quick for me. Everybody's moving on to, to Valentine's now. Y'all don't skip the, skipped Halloween. It's just too, it's just too much. But I will be doing some um, Valentine's Day stuff too because I'm ready for Valentine's Day. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then we have this regular circular one. So again, you get two sizes of each one. The star, the heart, and then the circle. So it's going to be really fun to play with. And I'm going to see what I come up with to try to do something a little different with that one. And then we have this guy here is a bow set. Y'all know we bow holes over here. So we got the stitching. Um, and then we have a scallop detail that's going to look like lacy or doily type. So there's a large and a small bow. I know, girl, I'm not ready for Valentine's Day, but I love crafting Valentine's Day just like Halloween. I got to say Halloween's my favorite and then Valentine's Day and then Christmas. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and then the next die is this one here. Oh my God, I feel so terrible right now. I'm not sure what this die is, you guys. It looks like it makes a fringe. Oh my God, I don't know what this die is. Tara, look at my little crafty shop and see if you see this die on there. I'm not sure what it makes, you guys. It looks like it makes a tassel. So we're going to have to come back to that one. I'm going to have to play with... You'll see me play with these dies on video, guys. So just check out the website. Oh my God, I can't believe I don't know what this is. It looks like it makes fringes for sure. It has to be a tassel. I think it makes like some kind of really pretty layered tassels. Okay, so we'll play with that. This one right here, I'm so excited to play with this little cutie. This makes a little purse, guys, and it is adorable. So... You get these side pieces. The side piece here is what makes um, makes it 3D. So you would glue this. And she actually has a tutorial on her YouTube channel. So I will link that tutorial down below so that if you guys can grab this. And she gave some great tips. I watched that video and it was the bomb. So you get the purse. You get this layering piece. And then um, you get the bottom piece here. So you would glue this to this. This goes on the side. And then you also get the stitch detail for the layering pieces. You get two of the handles and then this sentiment that says gift with the back shadow piece. Okay. So really cute size to gift some cute little things. You can fit a couple things in there. And then we have, ooh, some Valentine's Day. Yes, girl, I'm ready. Look at how pretty this die is. So this is a tag, and you know we love a good tag die. You can never have too many tags, too many tag dies. So this one has, um, look at this beautiful heart. It matches that bow perfectly, the same, oh, these little heart details. So you can save those little pieces for a mix or something. And then we have this piece here. You get the whole reinforcer. We got the stitching detail. 
So I love that it has stitching here. You can do stitching here as well. It is so pretty. Hey, Natalie, good morning. I didn't do Halloween. My daughter's wedding was October 28th. <gasps> you didn't do Halloween, girl? And then you get like, this makes like a little floating. You can do this in acetate and it'll be like a little floating shaker heart. That is so cute. Okay. Oh no, my gremlin just got up. What happened? Cool it down, daddy. Hold on, you guys. Let me get her situated because she can't be up in here. Hold on. Oh, she woke up. Guys, I was so happy she fell asleep. I'm like, I could do a video. And then we have this tag here, okay? And this tag is a lot smaller. And it's got the heart detail on the bottom. So it's definitely different, okay? We got the just the scallop going on here. This one's got the little doily detail. I can't wait to play with this, you guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then we have this one. I love this. So this is like the same deal with her ornament um, die. And if you guys don't remember, check out. I'll put a video link below so you can see that video. And this makes like a perfume bottle. It's got this cute little bow. And she made it the same way she did the other one where you can gift the sequin mix in here. So this is really cute, guys. And this is the piece that you will cut in foam to make it nice and thick. And then this is a little stopper that you will put in there to be able to pull out and have the sequins come out. So this is a really cute guy, guys. And I really love how she is keeping this little theme and coming up with all these different designs with it. The whole, you know, be able to get the shaker um, idea. I love that. So really cute. I'm super happy about that bow. That bow is really cute. And then I love the top. It kind of reminds me of Urban Jams. The little jewel, like it looks like a little jewel top. So that's really pretty. Hey, Alicia. All right. And then we have two more dies. Man, she came out with a lot of them. I'm excited. Another tag die. Yes. And it says it has um, a topper. So you can use this die as just a topper for your packages. And you can also put it on here. So this is going to be a great way to gift stuff. You know what I mean? And just have the full package in one. If you want to make some mini bows. And then you can, um, you know, put some plastic over it, use this as a topper. It's going to be really cute. So here's the tag. I know it's a little hard to tell all these pieces. And then you can use this as a topper. You can use this as a topper. We have the love on the bottom. And we have a bunch of layering pieces that you can do the love with, which I, I'm liking that. I wonder if they're the same size. They look like they are. So that's, I love this, guys, because sometimes I hate, I hate it. When there's like um, just one and you have to cut this like four times. Like, oh my God. So this is really convenient. And I love that about her dies as well is that she always has more than enough pieces for you to cut at once. Okay. So you can cut these at once and then bam, you got all in one. You got your layering pieces for each of these. Okay. So there's that. And then also the heart reinforcers. Love that. I can't wait to see how this looks. Cut out. Okay, and then this one, I'm really excited for this one here. This is actually a heart memory dex card, and you can make it into a shaker. What is this? Does it make like a little handle? Oh, okay, this goes on the... I think this is the bottom of the heart. No, it goes here. I'll have to see what this piece... It definitely goes right here in the middle, and I guess you can like dangle something here. And then here's the back piece. It comes with the layering piece for the heart. And it also comes with the sentiment, best friends. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, they're so cute, guys. So I don't know. It's going to be hard to pick and choose. My suggestion is grab them all while you can. I'm excited about each and every one of these. And I need to figure out what this one is. I really think that it, it looks like it's a layered tassel. It looks like when once you roll this, you'll have like one, two, three, four layers. You know, like it looked tiered. So that's what I'm thinking this one is, guys. So again, you'll see me play with these. Use my code Poochie 10 so you can get 10% off of your purchase. And that is the new release for my little crafty shop. Okay, I'm gonna 
I got to get on it. I got a lot of stuff, as usual, to work on. How tall is the perfume bottle? Let me check. The perfume bottle is such a great size, especially to gift a nice amount of sequins. Because y'all know we don't like doing dime bag sizes. Let me move this little matte paper thingy. And let me measure this for Lillian. This is about four and a quarter. Four and a quarter inches. And then let's see how wide it is. It is like two and a half inches wide. Okay. So with the um with this on top, it'll probably be about five, a little over five inches. So a really great size, guys, to gift um, a sequins mix. Okay. So that is the new release for yeah, girls. Nice size, a very nice size. I mean, I I don't think she would make it small because you ain't gonna be able to put anything in there. You know what I mean? The whole point of these are to be able to gift um a shaker or something in the inside. So that is the release for my little crafty shop. All the new dies. Snatch them before they're gone. Let me put my paper back here. And let me share with you guys some other little small hauls. This is not going to be a long video. Okay. So let's go to the stamp market. I really wanted to hold off. I've been having this for so long. Yes, you can make a mini album, girl. That's going to look so calm as a mini album. And Alvina, that is a great idea because those little tabs, let me show you guys. Great idea, Alvina. You can make this into an album and you can use these. That'll be such a cute little way to stick them on the side. Or you can, you know, have it go this way and flip it open this way and just have a couple of these. Really nice layer, really thick with your cardstock, your heavyweight cardstock. And you can probably um, put some rings in there or something to bind it. So that's a great idea, girl. And this little die right here, the purse die, you can use this to turn anything into a box. You can make a box with this, with other dies. You know what I mean? This is a perfect, hey, Melody, this is a perfect die for a base to make anything a box. Um, Let's see. You can probably make this perfume bottle a box. Yes, I think that you can because this is nice and rounded, but definitely something that's more square. You can use this to make a little box, these pieces, guys. So definitely grab these dies. It's I love to take dies and use it to make other, you know, things with it. So great idea, girl. All right. Those are my little crafty shop. Let me show you guys the stuff from the stamp market. I've been having this order for over a month. They came with a Halloween release in November, I want to say. <clears throat> and I just really wanted to hold off on doing the haul until I did some projects. And so I wasn't able to play with each and every one, but I did play with a nice amount of them. And you guys have seen a lot of the projects, but I'm going to show you again with this haul. down little girl get out of here get out of here say hi say hi to everybody she's like i'm not saying hi to nobody okay so this is the house maker die it comes with 13 pieces and i do have a video with this this die here you can turn any type of card base into a house okay and this is the example. We played with it on a video. I will link that video down below for you guys. So this is just a regular card base that I got from Hobby Lobby. But of course, you can just fold your paper in half and create your own card bases. And then this die makes the roof and all the little accessories. Hi, sweet drops. So really cute, guys. And we snowed this up. I put little diamond dots. It comes with this really cute bow, the little wreath pieces, the little doorknob. Really cute. Okay. So that's the house maker die. And then I picked up this poinsettia die. And when I saw the um, Vanessa, it's sweet drops. I'm sorry, girl. Um, 
this dot here, I'm not really into poinsettia dyes, to be quite honest. But when I saw the example, I had to had to have this dye. And I did create some poinsettias. I was just kind of playing around. I used regular um, 110-pound cardstock. I curled it just a little bit. You got to be very careful because these little intricate pieces, they're very fragile. And when I tried to like regular, you know, do it, twist it or whatever, like manipulate the paper, it ripped on me because of these little tiny thin pieces in the inside. So I use regular cardstock and then I actually use this stuff here that I hauled from scrapbook.com. Lilac Rose Opal is the color that I use. If anyone is interested, it is a gorgeous color, guys. Look. It definitely looks more pink than lilac to me. And I use some of that faux snow on this one. And these are how they came out. I didn't finish these. I just really wanted to have some available for projects if I wanted to. And the poinsettia, the bigger one, is big. I really like the smaller size better. Here's the tiny one. So this opal stuff, it makes a nice surface, especially if you're using like basic cardstock. You can turn anything, you know, a really pretty, they'll have a really pretty finish. I put too much snow on this one. I don't know how I'm feeling this one. I think it'd be pretty if I put some more of that opal stuff. And um, the way that this works, you guys, this is like, I, I didn't clean it. I'm supposed to, you're supposed to wash it. I'm so lazy, my God. It's terrible. And then this is the stuff. It's like a mousse uh, type of texture. You can kind of see. And so you just take it. Let me show you guys. You take it and where's the one that I didn't do? You get it on there and you just rub it. Rub it on. Yeah, I should I shouldn't let that dry on there. Hold on. Probably gotta use my own brush now. So don't be like me. Make sure you wash it out right away. I don't like having water in my craft room because I'm so like clumsy that I will drop it. And I don't want that kind of, I got too much paper up in here and stuff to be spilling water in my craft room. So I'm just going to use my finger. And you can see the finish. Look, it's gorgeous, you guys. Put some on this one. And you don't need much. What a beautiful finish. Here, let me put some in the middle. All right. So beautiful, beautiful finish. And these come in so many different colors. And they're pretty pricey. I think they're like $9 a pop, if I'm not mistaken. So there's the poinsettia die from the stamp market. Okay, it looks really pretty on this lighter one. I really like it. Okay. So there's that. Are y'all still with me? Okay, the next die that I wanted to show you guys is this nested wavy banner. I'm obsessed with this one. I love this one because of the wave. We have so many banner dies, but I love that it has the wave and it comes in all these different sizes. You get four different sizes and I played with each and every one except for the tiny one. So I'll be doing um, a video on that one. I know you guys asked for a tutorial. I will be working on it as soon as I can, um, as soon as like, I'm able to get to it. So it's a nested wavy banner, four pieces, and you just fold this over and you use this to put your stick or whatever, your base, your wand, whatever, underneath. So let me show you guys the examples for that. I use um, my little crafty shop as a design team project for her. I use these. And we used her her um, Christmas word dies. Okay, so this is the the uh, banner, and you can I think you can layer it if you cut out the next size. You can probably cut the thing and you know layer it. So there's that, and you just fold it over and glue it on the back. Fold that piece over. So these are really fun. I had to had to had to have this die because I just wanted to make this. This is exactly what I want to do. Pretty little pom-pom. Look at all these beautiful. Ah, oh, so cute. Okay. That's the next size. This is the smaller size. And then there's one more size that's smaller that I didn't play with. But these are the three sizes. The three bigger sizes. Okay. So hopefully I'll have a video for you guys soon. 
to show you guys how to do that. It's really simple, though. All you got to do is make a pom-pom and embellish your thing. It's really self-explanatory, but I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys because you guys asked. So I promise to do one with the tiny one, okay? We'll do that. I just bought something from Scrap Diva and forgot to put your code. <gasps> no, you didn't, girl. You better email her. Beautiful, Poochie. I love the dice. Thank you, mama. All right, and then um, I grabbed this die here and i was arguing with my friends and i'm like i want it all i couldn't get it all guys this stuff came up to a lot and i just could not buy everything that they were released and I, my i was really fighting with my friends about this die right here they're like you don't need it natalie especially she's like you don't need that die put it back put it back and i'm like no i gotta have it i gotta have it and so i had to have it you guys i had to get it it is called the seasons snowflake so this is the stamp and when you do the example, you're going to know exa exactly why. They stamped this in white and cut it out on color paper. And it was so pretty, you guys. And I love the sentiment. Snowflake kisses. Like, how cute is that? Tis the season. Winter wishes. Like, oh my God, snowflake kisses. I've never seen a stamp with snowflake kisses. So I had to have that. So after um, I show all this stuff, I think we're going to stamp this and cut this. I want to see how it looks. I want to show you guys how it looks. Okay. And then I picked up four... Let me see. This die here is their house die. It's a 3D little house. And guys, like I said, once you see the video of all the examples, you're going to be, you're going to want everything. I couldn't have everything, but I got exactly what I wanted. So this makes a little cute little like little house. Um, I believe you cut this twice. And then it comes with all these details. So you get the window, the window back pane, um, a wreath, a bow. This right here, you uh, glue it to this and it makes like a closure. It closes like that. So, um, what was I going to say? And this will actually reinforce it so that, you know, sometimes when you have closures, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't make it right, like after keep opening and closing it, the paper will tear on you. So it's really important to reinforce this. And I love, love, love the roof on this. This is actually the little roof. And it's got a cute little scallop all around, you guys. It is so cute. Now, I'm not going to lie. These dies are pricey. So just your be forewarned. I think some of these are on sale. If I'm not mistaken, they might be still on sale. But some of them might be sold out. I don't think they're sold out, though. I don't know. The ones that I didn't get are sold out, of course. So to go with um the house dies and stuff, I picked up these stencils. And you guys saw me play with this one here on the house die. And I just used that marshmallow paste, this the Maker's Forte, and look at how fluffed up. So you can use your your um your ink with this, you know, like your yeah your ink, and you can ink this. You can you know do like what is it called texture paste? You can do all kinds of stuff with this. So it's got the little scallop, and it also has this like shingle looking one. Let me see. It usually says the name on there. So this one is just called stencil. All right. So if you get the houses, even if you don't get the houses, if you have houses at home, I really suggest grabbing this because it's a really cute way to add details to your projects. And then, of course, I had to grab the ho, ho, ho. How cute is this one? Yeah, it's cheap. It's like six dollars. So the, the stencils are really inexpensive. And then I also grabbed these pretty little sequins. I didn't tell Natalie I got the sequins. She'd be like, me, 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 me. And I'd be like, okay, mama. Okay, mommy. So I got the golds. Look at how pretty, guys. They're so pretty. I had to get the sequins. These were the cheapest thing. I think they were like $2. <laughs> hmm. So I grabbed the gold ones. Let me throw them to the side so I can use them on my projects because I forgot I had them or else I would have been using them on projects. And then I had to grab these. Y'all are too quiet this morning. Wake up. What's going on? Wake up. Oh, I poured too many. So these are a pretty glitter iridescent. White iridescent. My God, I poured too many, you guys. What a mess. This is how these look. They're gorgeous. 
pretty little stars. I haven't seen any of these anywhere. Some like glittered star. I love glittered um, sequins. So I had to have the stars in my stash. All right. So that is everything from the stamp market. Oh, wait. I got one more package from them. So um, these right here, I had ordered after the Halloween release that I bought back in October. And it took a long time to come. I was like, what is going on? So I emailed them and they said there were a pre-order. And so apparently the pre-orders take a little while. What's this? They just added this little extra in here. I don't know. Oh no, it's got my information in the inside. Okay, so these two little dies right here. This is the one that I didn't get from the Halloween release. It makes a little cash shaker. And I had to have it because I wanted to cut some rosettes with this shape. So that's why I grabbed that. Natalie was telling me to get it. And I'm like, no, I don't like it. But I ended up getting it anyways. Like a, you know. And then I saw um, with Love Brie. I think her name is Brie. She showed this. And I'm like, how do I not have this in my stash? This is an older one from their, like, their, their last Halloween one before this one. And so I had to snatch that one. And I think it was on sale. So that is it for the stamp market. That's all I got from the stamp market. All right. So I hope you guys like those projects. Let me share with you guys a couple more little tiny little hauls. Just some little things that have been coming in. And then I'm going to get up out of here. Because my crumb snatcher is up. My tiniest crumb snatcher. No, it came. Um, It took them a while. It took like maybe three weeks two weeks i don't know they were back there you guys had just sold them out i guess and it took forever so frank garcia sent the die that was missing and this was the one that i was missing from the joy collection the mentopia one okay and then what else did i get oh let me open up this paper that lisa sent me my little crafty shop says she oh my gosh she printed me out so much She hooked me up, y'all. Wow, look at how sweet. Oh, this is that collection I love and I never bought. Lisa, this is so thoughtful of you, girl. Oh my God, it's beautiful, you guys. Let's go through the papers first. How sweet, girl. That is so sweet of you. Look at how many she printed me. Look at all that she printed me, you guys. Oh, my God. So sweet. So we have this design here. And this one. Oh, my God. This is so pretty. So sweet of you to share with me, girl. And then we have the... Oh, my God. Look at this design right here. Really pretty. So she, I think she said the artist's name is Nina Nina. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, this one's pretty. I never really buy digital papers like that, guys. I probably need to start. Ink is just so damn expensive. Look at how pretty. So she um, printed those that are like, I don't know, 11 by 5, maybe? 11 by 6. And then she painted me a full page. So pretty. Thank you so much, Lisa. Ooh. This is so gorgeous. She printed me out three of these. Yes, girl. You must have known I was going to like this one. And she used some good paper. It's pretty thick. All right. And then we have this one in the full page. And this one, she did three of each. This is so sweet of her. I was about to not show this paper, guys. I almost forgot about it. Really gorgeous um, designs. This purple. That purple is like, bam. It's pretty. So many details. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? 
And then we have this one. And the green one. The little candies, that's so cute. And let's check out the die cuts. Oh my God, I can't believe she did this. So thoughtful. Oh my gosh, she hooked me up, y'all. It's so pretty, Tara. These designs are gorgeous. Oh my God, look at this. They're so cute. Look at that bat. Look at her lashes, though. I love it. And she cut out several sizes for me. She said her name was Nina. Nina. Let me see. Nina Nina Crafts is the name of the seller on Etsy. Look at this. So cute. Lisa. This is so cute. I have some more um, Halloween projects I need to do. So I don't know. I might use these, but I want to hoard this. Oh, so cute. Can't hoard it. She printed me out three little sizes. Oh, two sizes. The kitty is so cute. So adorable. The little bat. You, oh, yeah, the ponytail on the ghost is so cute, girl. This bat is so adorable, too. I think there's two different bats, yeah. Like the girl and the boy. They're so damn cute. She does got a ponytail, girl. Lisa, thank you so much. Look at how cute. She's got a little pacifier, a little bubble in her mouth and a bowl. So adorable. And then look at these candy corns. And the candies. The candies. And here goes a spider. Her lashes on fleek too. And then she made me some little baby ones. Oh my God. No, this is not a baby one. It's another image. Adorable. Got all the little characters. And then the candies. Really cute, guys. Thank you so much, Lisa. So sweet. All right, I'm put these back in my package. I'm going to have to make something with that. I love this artist style of her characters with the lashes and all that. It's really cute. I think the last time I checked, it was like on sale for 15 But I was like, mm, I don't know. It's just so many things that I've been, you know, wanting to have in my stash. There's just too much stuff that's been coming out, to be honest. All right, what's this? And then I picked up this from Coco and Reno. They were having a Black Friday sale. And I need to stop being lazy and bust out my Cricut. Yes, girl. Once you start using it, you're going to love it. I mean, I don't have a Cricut, but just a cutting machine in, in general, like the Silhouette. I need to play with it more than what I do. Um, so this was on sale. They had like a put out a thing saying that their stuff was up to 50% off. But a lot of stuff was still pretty high. Like this was regularly maybe $24 and I got it on sale for $19.99. So I grabbed this one. I, I would have grabbed more if there would have been more sales. But... um. So this makes a four pocket folder and this is how it looks. So you can fold this over to make a pocket. You can glue two of them together. And then um, this right here will make the little pockets. So I grabbed that. What y'all laughing at? Don't be lazy, Tara. Shut up, Natalie. <laughs> Better open up that cricket, girl. And that's it, guys. That's everything for my little haul. Make sure y'all go check out my little crafty shop. Use my code and snatch them new dies. I don't want to hear nobody's stuff about, oh, she sold out when um, I show my projects. So I got to think of what I'm going to make. I still got a lot of design team stuff coming up. So 
that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I got to go get my little crumb snatcher. I'll catch you guys in another video, okay? Bye, everyone.